<laughs> just too good here. It's time to make some cursed Lego Looney Tunes minifigures. Even more so than Lego Big Chung is. Let's do this. All right, I did more than enough. You guys gotta let me know which one is the most cursed in the comments. Our first one was a very easy decision. Porky Pig on the Road Hog figure from Overwatch. Literally a wild hog. Porky Big Fig, I guess we'll call him. That fits perfectly. I want to put Petunia Pig on this body, but uh, that head piece unfortunately does not fit with the ponytails at the back. But I also thought, hey, let me put Porky Pig on Junkrat, and this is Apocalypse Bird Porky Pig, where he has a gun that says, that's all folks. <laughs> this is another perfect fit. And then I have Dobby Porky, Pork Dobby, Da Porky, I don't know. <laughs> And Petunia Pigo Maker or Petunia Pig Mermaid, where we have the mermaid body from Trolls, Widowmaker's body, and Petunia Pig all on one minifigure. This was a whole bunch of different <laughs> mixes together. I really do love that mermaid piece though, and damn it, I miss Lego Overwatch. Then there's Tweety from Another Planet, this design using the body parts of that one Space Police criminal and Venom's attachment i should say really it's an outrider attachment but you get the point honestly one extra i thought of when i finished filming is homer tweety bird <laughs> this looks so ridiculous with the big mallet you get a better look with that piece removed oh my gosh I wish they made more lego simpsons i love those molded heads sylvester pup the design of this using that one body of that unikitty character Fitting so well with the Sylvester color scheme from Looney Tunes. <laughs> then we have Mascot Madness swapping the body of the Disney Castle Mickey Mouse and uh, Bugs Bunny from this series. Doesn't fit as well for Mickey Mouse with this gray body, but for Bugs, I actually like that outfit on him. Of course, this gives me vibes of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, where both of those characters appeared on screen skydiving. Then we have Feral Lola Bunny using that body for, I believe it's Dale from series two of the Disney minifigures. Man, that color scheme really fits. <laughs> I guess she's collecting basketballs in that sack there. But I also had to make Jar Jar Binks Lola. I'm sorry, it just wrote itself. <laughs> I wish I had the updated Jar Jar Binks head though. Then we have the cheesy monstrosity. <laughs> <laughs> this uses the body of, I think, Otto from the Minions line, that one space police alien, which we did use on another figure for his body, and then just Speedy Gonzalez's head plopped at top. Only thing is I wish that the head matched more of the body. Here is the Road Trotter using that one body piece from Lego Trolls, as well as the Itchy body piece from Lego Simpsons. <laughs> and that color scheme just matches a bit with that headpiece. And then I was like, hey, the itchy headpiece matches well with the Roadrunner body. So this is the itchy runner, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, not super clever with all of these names. And this is Daffy Duck, the harbinger of doom, really solidifying rabbit season for everybody in the whole entire world. We're all screwed. This is Marvin the something. I don't even know what the heck it is. <laughs> that body from Lego Trolls. That one piece I believe is part of Junkrat's back, right? This part right here. And then that hair piece from Lego Minions, all mixed for Marvin the Martian. I mean, I originally wanted the Nesquik bunny head on Marvin the Martian, but I can't find that freaking figure, which makes me sad because it is quite rare and I love that figure. Then we have the Road Goomba, this design. <laughs> Not using the Goomba headpiece, but this random headpiece from Lego Trolls. You really get the craziest heads from there. The Goomba legs, though, and then the Roadrunner head at the top. And then there's Taz, Master of Spinjitzu. Once I saw that dish, I immediately thought, we gotta put Taz on that dish with a Zane outfit. Because it just fits the Zane color scheme and everything there, doing Spinjitzu. And he has that one accessory from the new Ninjago sets. The whole outfit is actually the one from the latest wave of LEGO Ninjago. 
So that's it <laughs> for this cursed collection. I love doing these and just mishmashing random ass parts together. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite of all these and the most cursed. And subscribe for more crazy LEGO minifigure content. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.